Shaving and being clean shaven is something we often think of as being a modern style or something only the Romans did in the past. Based on film, people in prehistory are often depicted as dirty, unkept and hairy. This image of barbaric people starts to fall apart when you realise people in the Bronze Age had some of the tools we have in our toiletry sets. Based on the incredibly preserved remains of people buried in oak coffins in Bronze Age Denmark, it's likely that males were clean-shaven. The male burials included finely made razors. There were three razors found at Musfon, and they were found in separate buildings. So in that sense, they, they, they fit that pattern that it sort of everyone had one within, within the settlement context. They're an odd object in a sense also that we don't necessarily have a, an obvious modern equivalent. Um, and I think the term razor is a sort of generic term for them. And then immediately everyone thinks about they, they're for shaving and things like that. But what we do know about them is, is that they are very sharp blades. And in that sense, they're, they're different from the other bladed tools within the context of the settlement. Razors are conventionally interpreted as part of elite male culture chiefly on the strength of an association with male burials, although there are female burials accompanied by razors in the Middle Bronze Age in Britain. Where are they used for shaving hair? The razors at Must Farm, I, we don't know, do we? we all we know is, is that they are very sharp blades. So for example, our textile specialist, Susanna Harris, is asking about the possibility that they were used in, in the manufacture or the trimming and the cutting of thread and yarns and things, and the whole textile production side of the story. Razors may have been used for shaving hair, but also for cutting cloth and plant fibre. The fine threads and weaving recovered at Must Farm would presumably have required sharp, precise tools, and the best fit amongst the implements recovered are the three razors. Razors are relatively common. They're not, they're not as common as, you know, the ubiquitous swords and spears and, and axes and things, but they do turn up and, you know, they are, they don't stand out as unusual within, within our context. The blades were cast into a mould and then forged to draw out a thin, sharp blade. Some were intricately decorated after they were finished. A tight cluster of objects in structure 4, which includes a ceramic bowl filled with bronze rings, tweezers, awls and a razor, suggests they were used in a craft space. The razors at Must Farm were turning up in the same context as things like the axes and the sickles and the spears. So we don't have that sort of resolution that they were used differently. And also the, the one space within the settlement where you're sort of separate from sort of general activities that what we call the sort of I don't know, the sleeping area and things was devoid of material culture hence why we sort of think about that as being the sort of the area where the beds were um, and e equally within the sort of metalwork assemblage there isn't that sense of personal objects we're not seeing things like brooches and, and bangles and things like that and stuff so they seem to fit more in with the, the sort of category of sort of general objects, I think, rather than personal objects. <laughs>